lies Ain't no witness It zips through your fingers I ain't telling no lies So F all the drama F the karma Just do what you wanna Promise you got time Well, thanks for uh, checking out the vlog. This is episode one of many to come. We're going to have a series for January, and um, we'll do a series for February as well. Um, this is the Horseshoe Indianapolis. It's about 25 minutes southeast of Indianapolis, actually, the downtown area in uh, a city called Shelbyville. Uh, absolutely beautiful poker room, 20 tables. Um, just have an absolutely beautiful bar right outside the poker room uh, that was finished a while back and uh, continue to make upgrades here in the casino, restaurants, and so forth. We're going to go in here today and we're going to buy in for the noon tournament. I see a couple of our dealers here. This is Rick. Rick does an awesome job. And behind the desk here up front, we had Philip that day. He was flooring, I believe, but he is an absolutely great dealer. Love having him at the table. Got a couple of cash games, live cash games going on, one three no limit. And then we're going to go back to the cage here and buy in, and uh, we're going to see Mike Gibson. So we're going to get bought in, and we're going to see how it goes.
So my opponent here opens for 16,000 chips, uh, roughly. Four big blinds. Uh, blinds are two, four, four, K. Um, we're six-handed. See, I peel back ace of clubs, four clubs, pretty sweet hand, six-handed. This particular player, he uh, he's not incredibly deep. Uh, I've got him well covered, and um, he's likely raising here um, to most likely prevent me from raising uh, in this spot since I'm the big blind. Uh, he opens strong. We had a flop of ace of diamonds, ten of clubs, three of spades, so great flop for us. We check to see uh, see what he wants to do here. He decides he wants to put more money in the pot, so he puts out seventeen thousand just to click over his uh, his raise pre flop, and um, decides to uh, to put that out there about a quarter of his stack. He had about eighty left. So we're going to take our time here, and then we're going to jam. I'm going to put him to a decision and see what he wants to do. And unfortunately for this uh, for this opponent, he he sees the area of his ways and and decides to fold. So we pick up a nice pot. We grow our stack a little over two hundred thousand now, um, and we're well on our way. Blinds are going to stay 2,000, 4,000, 4,000 here. I'm going to be in the small blind. Now I have my stack well over 200 and, uh, 245,000 at this point and uh, rolling along. So we're going to come up here to the next hand and uh, let's see what happens. So we've grown our stack now to 255K. We're still six-handed at this table. We've got six players at the other table. Blinds are 3,000, 6,000, 6,000. I pop it up here with pocket eights, two red eights. I make it 24,000 and uh, everybody folds. I win the button as a reward and we're off to the races. So um, we win the blinds and annies there. And we look down here. We've got. Uh, We've got a big blind player here that likes to likes to play aggressive, and uh, I notice something that he's he's ready to put it in. And I pick up pocket kings, king of diamonds, king of clubs. I make it twenty four thousand. Small blind is going to fold here. Big blind goes into the tank for just a little bit, and he contemplates, checks his hand, thinks about it. And then he jams for 114k effective. So big pot. He turns over queen of spades, ten of diamonds. We absolutely get crushed on the flop, and he flops the straight. He flops the nut straight, and um, we didn't really have any redraws there. We lose 114k out of our stack. We're still healthy, uh, still able to make a run at the uh, at the win here, but. Uh, this pot definitely hurt our stack going into uh, the the final table. Uh, we win this pot, and it puts us well over almost 400,000 chips. So uh, we, we, we chip down, of course, and uh, we'll have to fight back from this point. So the player in the big blind is, is usually pretty aggressive. And uh, he didn't have a whole lot behind after the big blind there that he felt like he had to jam with queen 10. So unfortunately, we, we, lose, uh, we lose a pretty good sized pot and we'll come back from here. See, I get to pay him out in all the chips. So pretty. And they're just going away. So. so in the very next hand, we pick up an incredibly playable premium hand in the cutoff. We've got about 145k effective, and we get the under the gun player jamming for 65k. He's got queen of hearts, jack of hearts. We re jam for more, and the big blind decides he wants to get involved with pocket fives. He's he's momentarily ahead, and uh, 
we get the money where it sits. And Cody, our dealer, puts a flop out here and crushes our soul absolutely with uh, ten of hearts, four of hearts, six of hearts, just flushing him right away. And we lose another sizable pot. Uh, we've lost over two hundred thousand, almost two hundred thousand in the last two hands. Um, puts us down. The gentleman that beat us in the hand, uh, he ended up finishing second in the points. Solid player respectable and uh as always does a nice job so a few hands later we pick up uh in the small blind we're three thousand big blind six thousand ante six thousand we're five-handed and we pick up a timely pocket jacks jack of hearts jack of clubs it doesn't matter either way this is going out to brad owen for the jiggities we put in 57 5k we get no resistance and take it down. So we pick up an extra 12,000, which is uh, which is nice in this spot. And we're going to keep moving on. So not a particularly exciting hand here, but we've got 60K effective. We're, we're in the small blind. Blinds are 4,000, 8,000 with an 8,000 ante to the big blind. The big blind is short stacked. He's He's got the shortest stack at the table. We're, we're down to, f to, uh, to five-handed. Um, he took a look at his cards before, and um, I liked. He didn't like what he saw, so I took advantage of here. I, I got ten hearts, three clubs, in the small blind. Everybody else folds, including the button, uh, who had chipped up quite a bit here. And I decide to uh, give it a minute, and then I decide to jam. Uh, I did really didn't feel like he had anything, and he's pretty true to his actions i play with him quite often and um he then folds so we we pick up another sixteen thousand. he does think about it for a second but i know that he doesn't have much of a hand and he doesn't want to gamble with his his tournament life there with that whatever he had uh, he didn't say what he had so we end up picking up 16k and moving on so we're down to three-handed now Blinds are 4K, 8K with an 8K ante, and uh, got 77,000 effective. Our opponent in the small blind decides to jam, and I've got aces. Pretty hand to pick up, good timing. Board fades everything, and we uh, we hold up. So we go, we chip up to good size stack. And we continue to make a run. As I said, my opponent here in the small blind is uh, is a solid player, very GTO, and um, makes pretty good decisions. Um, we chip up here to one hundred fifty four thousand, and um, couldn't ask for a better spot at this point in the tournament. Three handed, um, we're picking up premium hands. We're we're chipping up. We're making good decisions. And that's what you got to do to win tournaments. The other thing you have to do is win races. And I, unfortunately, um, it just doesn't happen here at the end. Uh, the end kind of falls apart. We pick up another premium hand here coming up. And um, unfortunately, the, uh, the big blind stays out of the fray. And uh, first and second points for the month go heads up. So we get here in the small blind. We've got uh, king clubs, eight of diamonds. We've got one hundred fifty-four thousand. The big, the big blind doesn't have uh, doesn't have a lot of chips. He's he's under a hundred thousand. Um, I decide to raise it to forty-one thousand. Pretty good spot here. Um, he's gonna play. Some big hands in this spot, but obviously small blind, big blind, the king, three handed. I'm not. I'm really not going anywhere here. Uh, I decide to make it 41k and not just jam all in. And he goes into the tank for a while, counts his chips, looks at his cards, really wants to decide. Um, And here he ends up uh, 
looking back and, and saying goodbye. He later told me he had pocket twos. Um, you know, that's it's pretty tough in that spot. But uh, he made a good fold, and he lives on. So we're getting three-handed. We chip up. We make another 16000 Head to our stack. And um, again, three-handed, you know, we're, we're 178K effective. Got a lot of big blinds. We're pretty deep. Um, we're on the button. Really good spot here. And we pick up another premium hand in position. And we look down at ace, queen of diamonds. Doesn't get any better than that. Um, aces, king eight, you know, just really picking up premium hands. I decide to ship it in this. I really want to put pressure on, on the blinds here. And the big blind wakes up with ace, king, ace of hearts, king of spades. He's crushing me, and I know it. Board comes run out, and king right in the window, which just absolutely. I did pick up uh, some hope on the on the flop with the, with the 10, giving us a, a jack for a gutter ball, but I was not able to fade it, and we end up losing uh, 152,000. Uh, it was a 304,000 pot. Uh, very disappointing to wake up with ace king or ace queen of diamonds there, and he's got ace king three handed. It's uh, just a just a cooler. Um, so we're going to push one hundred and fifty four thousand or one hundred fifty two thousand to our opponent, and that's going to leave us with right at thirty eight thousand chips, and we're coming up in the big blind here. So this puts us really low, and. In the big blind, we're at 12 and 12, 12,000, 12,000. So we're, we're shipping our whole stack here for the most part. Uh, any two cards will do. Um, we've got 24,000 in there, and we've only got another 14 back. So it's a, it's a pretty tough spot. This is our tournament life, and we're going to get the cards here. It's amazing how... The six seat completely stays out of the fray the entire time. He just folds. Um, obviously, benefited not picking up any hands. So we pick up nine and ten of diamonds. Our opponent again has us crushed with ace of spades, queen of spades, and he hits a queen on the flop. And uh... all right, taking the long walk out. Third place tonight. It's the first final table I've had a chance to film since they started allowing filming this month. It's my third tournament back since the beginning of the month. And uh, go deep, get a bit unlucky with uh, a couple of big hands. To At one point I had 45% of the chips in play. And pocket kings and ace queen suited when we were six-handed and five-handed could not hold up when I was ahead pre-flop each time. So a bit of a tough one. So I'm going to be doing a little something different on each video. My wife and I love to try different restaurants here and really anywhere we go. This is our favorite breakfast spot. Uh, it's Landlock Baking Company. It's in Irvington. I'll put the... Uh, scratch, croissants, you name it. Um, their breakfast items are delicious. See some of the menu items here. And um, definitely something you've got to try if you're an Indian. Feel free to check it out. I had the avocado toast, a couple of mochas, croissant with fresh jam and butter. The, the jam is amazing. So if you get a chance here in Indianapolis, you've got to stop at Landlocked. It's definitely a place to go. Uh, I believe they're open from 8 to 3 daily and just absolutely serve some great food. So stop in.